All right, guys, welcome back to Real Estate School. Today, we are going to be talking about closing deals with pay per click marketing. How so easy? We close fast, and any time that works for you, your house don't need it. We'll throw cash and hit so fast, don't know what to do. All right, guys, welcome back to Real Estate School. Today, we are going to be talking about closing deals with pay per click marketing. And pay per click is an awesome strategy because it essentially allows you to automate the marketing side of your business. Now, keep in mind that we are still going to be doing other types of marketing, at least I am, as well as an AdWords campaign. It's just one type, and I don't want to ever put all my eggs in one basket. So having AdWords set up in the background um, is amazing because it's just bringing me leads. And depending on how high my budget is, I may get you know a low amount of leads. I may get a lot of leads, but I'm going to have to pay for these leads. So if you have been to any of my trainings and know a thing or two about marketing, it's either time or money, folks. That's it. It's that simple. You either invest time or you invest money. And oftentimes, you're going to need to invest both, a little bit of both at a minimum, right? Um, this marketing source here is money, period. It's money. It's not time. You can't necessarily go do something for you know, six or eight hours and get an AdWords lead. It has to come from paying for a clicks. Very, very straightforward. So this is the, the, the part of the marketing that is automatable, but it's not going to be something that you can just do on your, on your free time because the, by definition, it's paying for those clicks. So I, I have my good friend, Tim, here today. Tim, how the hell are you, brother? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm even better here talking to you, David. Always a good day talking <laughs> to you, man. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you. Tim is going to um, demo and show us what AdWords is and how it works. And he, I've been working with Tim for six years. And he just set up another campaign for me literally about a week and a half, two weeks ago. I've been on and off of AdWords. And at this point, I'm, I'm in. I love it. It's so much easier to automate it. But it's going to cost. Keep that in mind. Okay. Before we jump in, Tim, I want to do one quick thing, man. Real estate school is like two weeks old. We're already at 283 members, guys. If you are not in real estate school, you got to get over here and check it out. We essentially have free trainings almost every single day of the week. We have a RIA on Sunday evenings. Here's today's training, how to close deals with PPC. We have a classroom with a bunch of free courses. All the calls are have replays. And of course, there's an amazing leaderboard section, which I love as well. And it's a community. It's not just courses. It's not just calendars with trainings and, and demos. It is a full-blown community. Check this out. This is actually a project I'm working on. This is all the flips I've done recently in the last uh, you know seven years. I got pins on them all. And some of these even have photos and lead sources and purchase prices and how much the, the gross profit on the deal was. And I'm trying to build this out to show people that real estate investing is not hard at all. I mean, if I can do this many deals, you guys can do deals too. Even if you've never done a deal. I mean, look at this. It's not rocket science. And I basically built real estate school to make it easier for other individuals to get in the game. Something I'm working on. It's all in real estate school. So guys, again, if you haven't done that, go check out real estate school. All right. With that being said, Tim, thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. Thank you for helping me generate my leads on autopilot by setting up these campaigns and websites. Let's start with what is AdWords in pay-per-click marketing? Something simple. Great question. Yeah, we'll keep this definitely high level so that everyone can understand because there's a lot of myths out there about what Google Ads is and isn't. So I'm just going to share my screen and I'll just show you very simply what it is. So Awesome. Um, there's the back-end version, which looks very overwhelming and I will get there in a second, but... Google, right? Google. So, oh, great place to start. Great place. Everybody to start. knows how to get here. Everyone knows how to get here. Um, That's right. So, let's say I'm a homeowner and I want to sell my home to an investor, right? Maybe I've gotten a postcard in the mail. Maybe somebody's blown up my phone with cold calls or whatever. But you know what? We use Google for everything. So, I'm going to go in and I'm going to try to find somebody who I can talk to to sell my house to. So, there are a few keywords that are most common that a motivated seller would type into Google. Now, um, cash for my house is probably the best one. So cash for my house. So I'm going to type that in. I live in San Diego currently. That's where I live. So the results are going to be very uh, San Diego based here. And we got the results, you know, all, all the search results here. And there's the Google Maps listings. What Google ads is, pay-per-click, are the ones up top here, right? The, one, the very top ones that say sponsored, 
These ones are Google ads. So when you click on one of these sites, I'm not going to actually click on them because I don't want to uh, cost them money, but they'll take you to David. Well, this is your very site. generous. Assume that my link was there and you clicked on it. Boom. Right. You land here. Exactly. So if we're in St. Louis, I would type in cash for my home, St. Louis. If I lived in that area and then it would go to his website. And now I'm looking at David's website. I'm going to look at the company page, uh, all about him. Oh, they have a serious team. Look at that nice smiling face here. I trust <laughs> this guy. This is great. I'm going to look at some reviews. Um, oh, we got legitimate video reviews. All these reviews here. Okay. I trust this guy. I'm going to give him a call. And then I'm going to talk to David. Boom. I'm going to fill out the form. I'm either going to call the number or fill out the form. And that is a lead. And that is basically it. Now you have a lead in. And that lead comes to me that, via David. email, text message, and it actually goes directly into Resimply, the main CRM that I'm working in right now. So amazing not only do i get tasked in the crm when that lead comes in but i get an instant text and email and you can modify this if you don't want that of course to notify me to hey go check the lead in the crm there's a new one because guys and girls speed the lead matters and what that means is is that if i can get back to a lead in a minute or five minutes or ten minutes that's way better than six or eight or ten hours let alone a day or two right you want to jump on these right away these people are on your website filling out your form if you can call them back while they're still on the site, even better. Tim, thank you. Go ahead, man. So, the man. Yeah, great explanation there, David. So how does it work exactly? How does somebody get an ad to show up on Google? How does that work, Tim? How does it work? So it's an auction-based system. What you have to do is you have to sign up for a Google Ads account. You go to Google Ads, um, and where's the link here? Yeah, so you basically create an account here. I'm not going to go through step by step how to do it. That's sure. not going to be the most value from That's this not the point. value. Yeah, it's not the point here, for sure. Not the point here. But you go in there and you create a campaign. But in order to do that, you need somewhere to land the people. Right. Like a website, you mean? Like a website or a landing right. page, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You get the website first for sure. Um, but I'll show you guys what the back end of a Google Ads look like and what all the hubbub is about because maybe you hear, "Oh, you know, these videos people posting, oh, I do, you know, 100k a month and it's all virtual wholesaling and it's all Google Ads and and this and that." Well, Basically, it's an auction-based system here. So you'll notice here there's three spots, right? Um, the number one spot is the most expensive. Basically, it's an auction-based system. So let's say uh, me and David are both in St. Louis and we're bidding on this keyword. So basically, you're bidding on the keyword. So I'm going to tell Google, hey, I'm going to pay money. I'm going to pay Google money to show my ad here for this specific keyword. Not for, not for sell my house, not for find me a real estate agent in, but for cash for my house. And then David in St. Louis is going to say the same thing. Let's say I'm going to bid $5. I'm willing to bid $5 mm -hmm. to show my ad. And David says he's willing to bid $6. Okay, well, since David's willing to bid more money, for the most part, he's gonna, his ad's going to show higher than me. So you can bet for, for this example here, this person who's, you know, I buy SD is spending more money. I'm clicking out here. Is spending more money than the second person who's spending more money than this person. Now, just as a simple rule of thumb. So it's an auction-based system, and that's a good and a bad thing. The good thing is that you have some control of it, but it can get very expensive. So if you're in a very competitive market, let's say Los Angeles or Phoenix, you know, there's a lot of investors there. This, the leads are going to be expensive. So it, depending on your market, the lead cost is going to be different. And I'll show you guys exactly how the system works on the back end in a second, but I just want to give you context for how the system works. It's auction based. So in theory, like let's say 15 years ago when Google ads first launched, I mean, you're paying a dollar 50 cents for a click. Nowadays, it can be very expensive, right? You're bidding against literally everybody in your market. And that's why David's saying the, the cost can add up. And how do you determine how much you should be bidding? Well, like I said, it depends on the market. But what, what dictates that is home prices, right? So like, let's say you're in San Diego, the average home price out here is like 700 grand or something ridiculous. So if you're doing a flip, you're gonna be making, you know, let's, let's call it 60 grand on a flip. How much are you gonna pay for these leads? I mean, you could- Yeah, I mean- $100 and for one. Easily, I mean, 5,000 in theory. I mean, if you're gonna make 70, now that's a closed deal, of course, but yeah, absolutely. So the leads, of course, less, but amazing. Yeah, that's right, Tim, that's great. Yep. So I'm going to pull up the back end. David, any other questions about kind of Google ads in general? No, and I appreciate you, you giving us the, the ground liar, right? Because yep. some people that, you know, may be new and they don't know this. And this is, 
And, you know, by the way, Tim, why does it matter that we're using Google? I mean, it's what, 95% of search? 85, right, yeah, 90%, so... right? I mean, that's the most important thing, right? We're, we're, we're going where the people are at. That This is where the audience is at. Exactly. Yeah, there is Bing, um, but there's, you know, it's there's not a lot of volume in Bing. We're testing it out because, you know, Bing bought the AI and more people are using Bing these days. But yeah, Google is still by far the, the one you should spend your time on. Sure. Absolutely. Cool. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Tim. Very, very simple. You showed my site that we use, and that's a carrot site. Tim set that up for me, by the way. His, his Tim and Tim's team set this up for me. They built this thing out. I, I sent them my logo and some information about my business and, you know, spend about 20 minutes just gathering some stuff to send to them. And then they put this whole thing together, right? That's another great thing about working with Tim is, is that it's all done for you. Amazing. Okay, cool. You showed the front end, how it works. You, you mentioned keywords, and I want you to kind of show that on the back end too. But let's go back into the back end, and then let's actually look at the, uh, the way this works on the back end here. So I have an account pulled up here. Um, this isn't David's account. I'm not pulling David's account, but because uh, he, he's newer. He just yeah, it. mine's just brand new. It's only two weeks old. Yeah. So this is a client. We have Vance here. He's been with us three years, I think. Um, so this is the first, I think, year. Let me, let me change this here. So... I'll, I'll explain what this is in a second, but let me pull up the, uh... yeah, so this is like the first year uh, of him working with us. And you'll notice the cost, probably the first thing you notice, almost $10,000 spent, right? Is that a year or a month? So this is this is a year. So he's okay. in a smaller market in Georgia, uh, smaller okay. than St. Louis, less than a million people in the whole market. Oh, and wow. I just, okay. I, I'm going to use this as an example to explain. Please. Set the expectations on Google ads and how- sure. like, how success really looks like, because it is different than direct mail and cold calling and all these other things. And a lot of investors don't, don't understand this. So um, this formula, this, this account here, net Vance over $100,000 this year. Net, 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 net. Not so he's net. making 10x return on his money, basically. So basically how it works. Um, yeah, he spent about $10,000, not very much, maybe $1,000 a month. It, its campaign took a couple months to get rolling in it, but he's basically only spending $1,000 a month. He got 50 leads in. This is over the course of a year. 50 leads over a year. That's one lead a week. Yeah, right? it's not that many. Right. Yeah, not 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 a lot. And then he spent about 10 grand. He paid us another, you know, a couple thousand dollars in fees. So, you know, he's under twenty thousand dollars in total. And he, but the thing is, and you're like, okay, 50 leads is not that many. I mean, for cold calling, maybe you're getting one or two deals, you know, maybe if that, depending on on your, your system there. But yeah, but when you're cold calling people, you're calling people eight. that most you're, sometimes when you're calling people, most of the time you're calling people, they don't necessarily want to sell their house. So it's just a lot of legwork. Nothing wrong with that. We do it, right? Mm -hmm. But these people are typing in certain things into Google. So the level of motivation that they have is presumed to be way higher. And it is. I think that's one of the points you're making here, Tim. Yeah. So that is that is a point I'm, I'm, I'm making it with data. So he got you know about one lead a weekend. He closed one in eight, I think. So he got, he got seven deals. Seven deals from 50 leads. And how much time does it take to, to, to manage a lead a week? Virtually none. Yeah, Virtually 10, none. 10 minutes maybe, to, tops even. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of time. So he got he got seven deals. And I think he averaged like $20,000 a deal. Because because these deals are usually fatter. They're better deals than other forms of marketing. Just because the leads are higher quality, sometimes there's less competition. They just end up being better deals. Our average across... All of our, uh, we, we run PPC for, you know, 30 different markets and the average profit for, for deals around $30,000 a deal. Pretty high. Vance yeah. even under it uh, for him because he's, he's kind of in a cheaper market. But so he got seven deals, about $20,000 a deal. So it's about 140 grand grossed. He spent about 20 grand. So he net over $100,000 with his campaign. And this is pretty typical. And someone who's in this campaign is going to look, and this is where investors get tripped up a lot. I want to make this point. So his cost per lead was about two hundred dollars. All right, and his cost per—I mean, that's not cheap. And nowadays, it's even higher. It's probably three hundred dollars, right? And you're like, "Ah, oh, man, these leads are so expensive. I can get a Facebook lead for forty dollars, or I can cold call for free." And yes, the leads are expensive, and, and they're not wrong with both of those. But the leads are right. different quality, right? That's the exactly. point. That's the that, point. That's so, the point. Tim, what kind of stuff are people typing in? And this is a, that was such a great example. Thank you so much for. For showing and and tell your buddy thanks for letting us look at his account. By the way, very yeah. very very helpful. What is uh what kind of stuff are these people searching, right? And why why would we presume that that these leads are better 
than other leads in terms of like, you know, not needing 50 or 100 of them to go close a deal. Maybe only needing seven or 10 or 15 of them. Yeah, because I mean, when you're, let's say when you're doing cold calling, right, you're, you're basically the filters you're using for your lists and you're like skip tracing are going to be property characteristics. They're going to be equity, fine on taxes, you know, code violations, whatever, you know, you know, home age, things like that. Right. Um, and those are not bad indicators of motivation or finding deals, not at all. But with Google ads, it's the only form of marketing, you know, including SEO, but it's the only form of marketing where we we're actually targeting somebody's brain. We're targeting their, their behaviors. So when people are going to Google, they're, they're searching keywords like cash for houses. They are searching we buy houses and we buy houses is popular because you know, people see the bandit signs everywhere and it's, it's made it very common. Uh, selling without an agent, property buyers. I'll just go over a few examples here. Buy my house. So when these people are typing in these phrases, they're typing them in at a point in their mind where they're ready to sell. Like we're we're basically capturing, if we're thinking about the whole life cycle of a motivated seller from the moment they get their pre-foreclosure notice to the moment they actually sign a contract, when they're searching Google, they're already very close to signing the contract. They're like, this is why they're the most motivated leads because when they go to happens, Google to solve problems and we right. are the answers to those solve to those problems, essentially, when they click on our site and call our number or fill out our form. Yes. And essentially, we are paying Google to be able to get the clicks. The more we pay, the higher up on the search we become. Pretty exactly. straightforward. At the end yep. of the day, it's pretty straightforward. 100%. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, when, when you're when you're searching these, this is what you want to do. Uh, and, and they're going to be very motivated. A lot of times you're going to get the deal very quickly. It's a fast turnaround time, which is a good thing, but it's also a responsibility that you have. So mm. I want to make this point when you're That's a great point, when you're, when you're, uh, you know, Vance getting a lead a week, it's not very many. If he gets that lead in and he's out to lunch or he's doing something else and he misses that lead. I mean, that's a $200 lead and these leads are extremely motivated. So they're yep. going to, uh, my website. They're going to David's website. They're going to Vance's website. I mean, you got to be on top of it. And we've seen um, there are two main factors of which why people fail with PPC. You know, two main factors. The first one is they're not patient enough. So the campaign can take a couple months to get rolling. That's just kind of how it works. Mm -hmm. It's campaign launched two weeks ago. He may not have gotten many leads yet. It I got two, I think, already. And I've talked yeah. to both of the sellers and they're great leads. They're great leads, go. but... It's it's I don't expect a lead a day right. for, you know, two, three months. It's going to take some time to build itself up. But I yeah. love it, man. It's great. I've gotten leads already within a week and a half. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and not much work for on his end to, to do it. Literally no work. Zero, uh, zero work. But the second thing is you need to have a good sales process. And this is something that we've learned more about pretty recently over the last year. And it's becoming especially important now in this market, which is becoming more challenging, at least to wholesale and flip, is that you need to have a great sales process. And if you're only getting a lead a week and you're spending hundreds of dollars for that lead and the lead is extremely motivated, you need to be on top of them. And if you're not, you're not going to get a one in 10 close rate. You know, you're just not going to do it. And it's the investors who have a, who are like really great salesmen on their own or have a sales team are the ones that really crush it. And what that means is that they need to get to the lead within ideally less than 10 minutes, like five minutes is ideal. And with Vance here, he was telling us what he takes these leads so seriously when the lead comes in and he doesn't get a hold of them, they actually drive to the house. They drive to the property and there's maybe- And they knock on the door and that. they say, hey, I've been trying to reach you. You were on my website earlier today and you filled out a form about needing to sell it. That is such an amazing approach going the extra mile. I'm going to do that. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And I'm, that's I'm great. Everyone should go do it. But you know, the, the point I'm trying to make is that you need to take these leads extremely- Seriously extremely like when this lead comes in and you get a cold call lead that comes in like this lead is the number one priority so i would say if you're going to do ppc you need to have the right expectations you need to give it at least six months when you're mm. if you're going to start doing it have your budget mm. for six months and you mm. need to have your sales process dialed in and it can be very profitable and it's not going to take a lot of time and i'm going to go over exactly i i can't go over how long it takes me to do it and how you can actually run google ads without money out of pocket, partnering with another person. We yeah, so here's the deal, Tim. I'm bringing you on not only A, because you are the expert at this. So thank yeah. you again for your time today. Um, but B, I would be doing everybody in real estate school a disservice if I didn't share you with them. Sure. Right? 
So guys, I hired Tim. You can hire Tim if you want. This isn't a, a call to sell you on uh, working on anything or anything like that. If you want a Google guy, this is who I work with. I'll share them with you. Tim, tell us a little bit about that process. But I also want you to talk a little bit too about, um, about this other thing that you were telling me about the other day for individuals yeah. that may be a little savvier with technology, you know, and then they can essentially partner with other people to get their spin paid. Like, I don't know what that was all about, but I'd love to hear more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, when I was coming on this thing, I, I run a PPC agency, right? And typically the investors that work with us are more experienced. Like we're not, we don't, we, we turn down people who are beginners, right? For the reasons I just mentioned, they, they don't have a good sales process. They don't have a budget. They're not ready, they, man. They're not ready. They're not ready to do It'd it. It'd be a and waste of time and money. Exactly. Yeah. Go do cold calling first or, or whatever. And then when you get some deals, get then, some deals. Yeah. Get some yeah. experience with the sales process so you can jump on the leads and know how to handle and nurture these, these individuals. I always say PPC should be the second marketing channel you have. Not the first. I love that. I love that. Actually, that's, that's beautiful. Yep. Should be the second, not the first. I, I agree 100%. So, so yes, you can check out my agency. I think David's going to have the, the link. You got your screen there. share. Pull, pull it up, bro. Yeah. So here's my website, wholesalingppc.com. Check it out. We've worked with the gurus before, you know, as well. We're with David, you know, Carrots endorsed us as well. We're in, we're in their marketplace and you know, we have 30, 40 clients. So yeah, check us out, read some reviews. we got a lot on here. We got podcasts, you know, all that kind of stuff. Interviewed Vance a few times about his sales process and campaign and whatnot. So yeah, check out the website for sure. Um, but I do have uh, another solution as well Let's see for it. people who are newer. And I would like to get into it for a second. And guys, I'll have a link below this video where you can connect directly with Tim. And again, you know, it might not be for you guys. I'm going to be straightforward about that. And it's definitely not the first marketing channel you should do, Tim. You said that. I agree 1 million percent with that. But when you are ready and you want to get leads on autopilot and you can afford the marketing budget for at least six months, right? You can't half-ass this. Let's be honest. You got to, if you're going to do this, you're going to do it right. And you're going to do it for real, right? Uh, but then again, you know, connect with Tim. There'll be a link below this video, guys, to do that as well. Tim, show us that other thing you were talking about. Exactly. So um, basically I, I created this, um, people have been asking me about doing a course, like a PPC course. I'm like, okay, you know, I'll do a PPC course. It's, it's exactly our system that we use, but um, we can structure it a little differently. So one thing I've realized over the past couple of years, there's a business model that marketers are using, that people who know how to do PPC are using to close deals without actually spending any money out of pocket. Right. So um, it's really interesting. No one's really talking about it. You can check it out. I call it one hour deals program. Basically what it is, is um, I'm teaching you how to use my Google ad system, how to run, how to learn this whole back end, And you can run it on about an hour a month. You can automate it. I teach you, I give you all the templates, all the keywords, all that kind of stuff. So you can run it on an hour a month, but the, the value is there are a lot of investors that are actually partnering up. So let's say I'm, let's say I'm, I'm a beginner, right? And I learned Google ads here and I'm, I don't have the money to afford it or whatnot, but I know David, David's a flipper. David's in St. Louis. David wants more deals. Okay, maybe he doesn't want to use an agency. I can go to him and say, hey, David, I will actually run your campaign for you. You cover the spend, and then we split a cut of the profits. Okay, wh nice. whether it's 30% or 50% or whatnot. And, I, and I, I wouldn't be preaching this if I didn't see it happen so much. And my literally my sales Essentially, guy, what I'm hearing is it's like bird dogging, but using technology. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like that. I, I don't like say. that. It's, part, it's, it's really joint venturing and partnering. And that's, guys, yeah. this, is, this is what real estate school is all about bring people together and educating and teaching, but also creating this environment where we can communicate and collaborate and partner with each other. So Tim, you're right up my alley with this buddy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's not for everybody. I mean, not everybody wants to go learn Google ads. You kind of have to be someone who likes spreadsheets and things like that. It's there's only certain personalities for it, but if you like the marketing aspect, the aspect of it more than the sales and you'd rather focus on that, my sales guy here, actually Tyler, um, he did this. He like, I, I built a program out. He went through it. He, he found investors in like some random market in, in New York, like Northern New York. He got paid $5,000 in three months. He put no money out of pocket. He literally followed the- exact So he used spend. their money to cover the ad spend. They Correct. ran the appointments. They did the deals and they were paying him joint yep. venture pieces. So he's getting paid to, yeah, to bird dog basically. He, but, didn't even, he didn't even have to run the leads. He literally just ran the campaign. And the, and the reason this works is because- It's like a micro agency. It's a micro, it's exactly what it is. It's learning how to run a micro agency, but the, and you're like, okay, well, why would this, why would someone work with me or Tyler or whatever versus an agency? Well, as an agency, okay, as an agency, I'm not going to do a commission split. I'm not going to do it because at scale, it doesn't work. It's very hard to manage cash flow. But if you're one person, splitting a deal makes sense. 
So you actually have a competitive advantage over an agency to do it as like a one kind of a one man show. So it's not for everybody, but it's a way to learn PPC, which is a very valued skill in the marketplace. Okay, a lot it of is, especially nowadays, people. man. It's only going to be more and more too as we just move toward more and more towards virtual everything. Yep. You know, I mean, there's a microchip within 30, within five feet of you typically 24, 7, 365. It's yep. everywhere, you know? That's crazy. So I, I, I just, I basically created the program. It's called One Hour Deals. You can go to get onehourdeals.com, check it out. I created it for people who want to use PPC um, and, and to get their foot in the door in the game. Because PPC can be a skill that you can learn to leverage to build relationships in places like real estate school and, and others at your local events as well. So if you're interested in doing that, you can kind of build an agency, get your foot started. Um, I see a lot of investors doing it and no one's talking about it. I'm like, people need to know about this. It's, it's a unique business model. So um, check it out. If you're kind of a newer, if you just want to, if you're, if you already got your systems in place, I'm happy to run your ads for you as an agency too. So a couple different options for everybody. Tim. Amazing. Thank you so much for coming on guys. Below this video, there'll be a link to connect with Tim and, uh, about, about actually just having him do it for you. Like I chose, or if you're savvier and you want to do the, the more creative approach, you know, all the power to you. And I'll connect you guys with him down there with a, another, you know, another link to, to connect on that as well. Tim, thank you so much for coming on today. Again, I appreciate your time. You're doing awesome work, man. You're helping tons of people, you know, make money in real estate, automate their lead process, uh, generate some of the highest quality leads that are out there, um, as well as help people create micro agencies, man. That's such a cool thing, man. It's such a cool thing. I absolutely love that. Guys, I just want to reiterate one more time before we wrap up here. And of course, we can open it up for a quick Q&A for uh, the folks that are here with us today. Because again, all of these calls, all these trainings on real estate school are live Zoom calls where you can come and you can collaborate and, and ask questions and, and be a part of the actual training here. Uh, but again, before we do that, this is not the number one thing I'd recommend you do if you are brand new. Tim said it very, very well. This should be the second marketing source or marketing or lead generation method is the be better terminology there. Not the first, right? You need to learn how to put systems and processes in place to run appointments and to nurture leads and to win deals before you're, you know, wanting to do this because these leads, they need a lot of nurturing and they also need an instant, in some cases, reaction time. When they come in, you got to be on them. One of his successful uh, students and, and partners that he was talking about earlier if he can't get them on the phone, he drives to their home. That's the level that you often have to go to, you know, with these leads. Not to mention they can cost two, three, four hundred dollars in certain markets. They don't have to, but they can. Again, this is this is not a time budget. This is a monetary budget. Tim, amazing. I love working with you. You are such a great guy, an awesome entrepreneur, a hell of a real estate investor. Just I'm honored to, to have you in my life and, and be friends with you, my man. Truly, truly. Let's open it up for a quick QA. Uh, we got any questions, guys? I have one. What you got, Nick? What's going on, man? Welcome. And I, I'm sure you'll find this, or I'll find it if I, you know, I get it going into this process. But you were saying when you just were talking a little bit about it, when somebody clicks on a site and it takes you to your, your landing page, right? And they're motivated. Super motivated. Right. Well, fine. And what I don't quite get is when they click on that page and they do whatever, what comes out of the end of it? How do you know they're there that quickly? You, do you follow me? Yep. Good I don't question. Know Good that question. Well, if, they don't, if they don't interact with the page, Nick, I'm going to take this one, Tim. If they don't inter interact with the page, you don't know they're there. And that's a risk that you take. Not every click is going to be a lead. So you are going to, the whole purpose is to drive traffic. That's the biggest, easiest thing to, to think about. Your goal is to spend money to get clicks, right. which drive traffic. 99% of the clicks probably turn into traffic. Some of them may even bounce out right away. Who knows? But you're going to get people to the site. Not all of them are going to call the number or fill out the form. There is a method to retarget those folks after the fact. But the goal would be to have them call the number or fill out the form. From there, that, that lead is generated right there. There's the form. Thank you, Tim. There's the number. That's my, my number up top, 314-730-3000, right? So when that happens, that's going to ring my team of lead managers. Or right, right now, I just have Dennis. He's the man. Dennis is going to answer that call for me, okay? If not, Dennis is going to see the missed call and the voicemail and get back to them right away. Nights and weekends when Dennis isn't on the clock, that number forwards over to another one of my team members. 
So we can have real-time, instantaneous um, access to connect with these people. If not, we'll see the missed call and the voicemail and get back to them immediately. But somebody's monitoring that number essentially all the time. And I work with another company called Call, call Porter, um, which can do this for you 24-7, 365, if that's what you want. It's amazing. Or, great question, Nick. They fill out that form, and then it goes into any CRM that you want. Additionally, though, it emails you, and I recommend this too, get a text message at the same time. So you're essentially getting a text message in real time when they fill out that form, like three seconds later, immediately. And if I am just not doing anything, I'm at the pool or whatever, and I get the text and I got nothing to do, I can call them right then and there. Like, hey, they might be on the website still. So you, I guess the simplest way to answer your question is you're getting notified and oh. you can choose how, right? Text, email, and into the CRM is what I do because I don't want to miss it. I see the email after I see the text almost every time. But if I'm busy and I don't get to them right away from the text, the email reminds me. And that's if somebody on my team hasn't already reached out to that seller. Excellent question. Thank you. That was a perfect answer. That's that, good clarity there. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys, I want to respect Tim's time. Tim, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to get those links from you so we can put them down below this video. And... Um, Include that. So again, I want to share Tim with you guys. He's done such great work for me. And uh, I know he can help you out too, assuming you guys are ready to jump in. He's got two offerings. One is him helping you like he does me because I'm lazy. The other one might be something you're interested in that you can actually take these tools, learn them in a course that Tim has, go create a micro agency, partner with other investors. That might be an excellent option for you to check it out. Guys, thanks again for coming today, Tim. Thank you. And uh, with that being said, guys, Signing off. House so easy, we close fast, and anytime that works for you. Your house don't need it. We'll throw cash, it hits so fast, don't know what to do. Wanted to care to.